Click on firmware 0520 in your download area. Double click on that. It'll say latest firmware file for Xeno. We now want to do the controller, which is the HT016B RPBO1.6. Okay, what's going on in there? Okay, we've got the update tools. Are we good there? What we got? Update tools and the HT. 016B updater. We've already put the uh, driver in, so let's go with the updater. There we go. There's the, the Hubs, Hubsan logo. Now, then, what happens now is that it cycles through and you come to this area here. Um, we're not going to conti auto continue because once you get to this point, so now what you do is you open up your controller cell phone bay, keep it open if you've got a screwdriver or something. Okay, between pins one and two on the left hand side, take a piece of foil and you short them out. Make, in other words, you're making a jumper. Then once you've got that done, you turn on your unit, the controller, by holding this down. See, and it's it's sequencing through there on the LEDs then you take the other end of this and you plug it into your computer once you plug in the USB there you go did you hear that noise telling you that you've got a connection so this controller is now connected to the computer and on here you say continue Go to this here 970 image, click on that, right click on that. Then click on where it says image there and just open it. Which will take you to this area here. Now if you look up here it says you disconnected. Oh so press reconnect and see what happens. There you go, we have a connection. You know that because this light has turned red, uh, green. That means we've got a connection and we can do the burn from this hardware update down onto the controller. So you press burn. Do you confirm this operation? Yes, we confirm it. Does now is it starts to download, and that green line is the progress line. See how much progress it's made. So it takes a while. I think initially it takes off the information on the controller and it puts in new information. This is the new information and update that it's putting in. then you'll get the little box that says burn successfully successfully burn and what you can do then is there's a little box here that says verify so click that and just verify that everything went through all right shouldn't it all right so now it says verify okay you close that and you exit this program so you're done on the computer end and on your controller you just turn it off and then you unplug it from your computer and most well, very important is take out the piece of silver paper that you're using for a jumper there I'll use these tweezers that should help there you go no problem that's what I use as a, a jumbo, it's just a piece of silver paper. 
folded over and over till it was about the width between the two pins and I pressed it in. Worked great every time. Next thing to do is to turn up, take out this uh, screwdriver. Once you do your update, it's really important to recalibrate this controller and what you do is you push these two sticks to the top left. Okay, two sticks to the top left, then turn it on. And it's beeping. And then what you do is you go up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, and then go all the way around a few times. And go back do it a few more times and then you hit this button here which should turn it off there you go so now we are what we call calibrated and just turn off there and all that remains now is for us to take this and the quad and take it for a flight make sure it's all right Make sure that we did our calibrations well, I think it's going to be okay. And if there's a, a, there is a problem, just go through the procedure again. I'm not that impressed that you buy a quadcopter and you've got to do all this stuff, which is if you, if you were a newcomer, I think it would be a bit overwhelming. I'm used to all this stuff. I've been in electronics for years, but you know, that you have to jump through a lot of hoops before you can even get your quadcopter into the air. That seems a bit odd. But that is the business model Hoopsan is using, and of course, it is a very good product. So, let's see. Thanks for watching. <coughs>